Good morning, Class Tube. It's Taryn. It is Sunday, February 4th. Welcome. Um, I hope everybody's had a good week. It's been it's been pretty good around here. Um, if you look, look, I put up shelves yesterday. I was home by myself. I only put up one because I only had the wood for one. Um, I just happened to notice that it was out in the garage, so... I decided. I was home by myself. Um, Addison and Dax were out having a daddy-daughter day, and the rest of the kids went to do an escape room. So um, I stayed out here and cleaned all day. Um, it looks better now than it did. It looked better than it had been, um, but then when I got out here and really got going, I made it look a whole lot worse, which is always the case, right? And now it's back to better. Um, part of that is because I put up the shelf. Yay! I am stupidly excited about it. Um, there comes a point in your adult life where it's little things that just rock your world. And, yeah. Um, I have the brackets for to put another shelf above it. Um, if I do that, I'm going to have to only put on things that I'm almost never going to need. Because it will be pretty high. I did discover in putting up that shelf and trying to clean up out here. I have fabric issues. Serious fabric issues. Um, this cabinet, that shelf right there, um, in between brackets is 32 inches. So it's the brackets from one end to the other are 64 inches. Um, and that shelf, as you can see, is longer. It's probably 72, 74, 76 inches long, this cabinet here. Um, and it has these drawers that go down just a slight bit more than halfway, and then the bottom of it is open. It is crammed full of fabric, except for a space about that big, um, which has some trim and stuff, the elastic, things like that, and baskets. The rest of it is crammed full of fabric. And when I say crammed full, I mean spilling out the front. This corner over here has three plastic bins. They're small ones, about this big. Um, full of fabric. Fabric stacked on top of them. There is a... You sit on top of my sewing machine when I'm doing these. There is a cabinet beside my sewing machine, which is full of fabric. There is a big plastic tub in the corner over here that's full of fabric. And there are like three old suitcases in the corner because there's a bathroom out here. And it has a bunch of space. It's got like the sink and toilet are at that end. But on this end, there's a bunch of space and I've got a bunch of old suitcases stacked up. Um, and I think three of them are full of fabric. Issues. Obviously, I have got issues. I have got to do some, you know, either some serious culling of fabric or some serious sewing. Um, but it's ridiculous. It really, really is. But <clears throat> anyway, I am beyond thrilled to have put that shelf up. This piece right here is a, um, it's a piece I bought for like four dollars. And mostly because I like the frame, because it's a heavy wooden frame. Um, but it's a cross-stitch piece that I bought a year or two ago. I don't know, but it's just been... It's been sitting on that shelf, just buried behind stuff. This is my tub of kitted projects. These are little tiny kits, like Mill Hill and little small kits. And then these little tubs are for... Um, the Christmas ornaments I'm making for the kids. So, 
<clears throat> Most of that stuff has been sitting on the floor, um, so now I've gotten it up off the floor, so that makes me very happy. So, anyway, that's what I did yesterday, and it was glorious. So, what else has gone on here this week? Um, well, let's see. I took, only two of my kids actually have driver's licenses and drive. Um, the other two are sort of learning. Um, they don't show a ton of interest in it, but last Saturday or Sunday, I don't remember what evening it was, I think it was Sunday night, I took Kirsten driving, and we go, because she's still learning a lot of it, um, we go up to the parking lot at the high school and practice there. We had barely gotten there last week when um, a sheriff's deputy pulls in in front of us to see if we have business at the high school or whatever. Um, Kirsten hasn't wanted to learn to drive because the first time she actually got on the road a couple of years ago working on it, um, some guy in a big truck, you know, all jacked up and everything was like right on her butt because she wasn't going fast enough. It was at night. He had his lights just so she couldn't see. Uh, she was in tears by the time she got home. So she was like, screw it. I don't want to do that again. So now we're in the parking lot and the police come to see what we're doing. But it was all good. He was like, when we told him why we were there, he was just like, oh, that's a great idea. You don't have to worry about hitting other people's cars, just light posts. Um, and wished us good luck and all that kind of stuff. So it was all fine, but it did make her a nervous wreck. Um, yeah, I don't know how she's going to handle this if it doesn't get better at some point. <clears throat> um, we had some big grass fires out in our area this week. Uh, I think I read that over 700 acres burned. It was getting close to some houses, but fortunately uh, none of that happened. I haven't seen yet if it was intentionally set or what happened. Um, there was a big one, and then there were a whole lot of little ones. It wasn't necessarily a windy day, so I don't know if somebody was setting them or if it really did just blow, but they weren't like super close together, so it was kind of weird. But when we were on our way home after work, we um, turned down the road to get to our house. You could see some embers still burning, um, so we stopped and... We always have water bottles that have had some of the water drunk. Um, is that the right word? I don't know. It doesn't sound right. Um, so Dax took one of the water bottles and went and put it out. So I've been teasing him all week about what a hero he is. Um, so it's always something, right? It's always something interesting going on. Um, as for myself, my main accomplishment this week has been that I've, um, I'm pretty sure I've eaten all of the candy in the house. Um, thank you, PMS. Uh, if I haven't eaten all the candy, it isn't for lack of trying. It's probably because I couldn't find it. Seriously, that's been my big, yeah, that's what I did this week. Um, Anyway, I did do some stitching. I did. Um, I worked on my Easter cracker by um, Mint Creek. It's one in this teeny, teeny little thing. Um, this is kind of, I guess you'd call it my focus piece. It's the one I do most often. And I made quite a bit of progress. Um, I started with just this. It was a mania start, I think, last year, and this one egg right here was all I had done, so I think I've done pretty well. It was charted with, um, I don't remember, I don't even see on here. Mm. It was charted with, uh, <clears throat> 
<clears throat> Fancy thread. I don't know. I can't find, I don't even see whose thread it is. Regardless, I substituted DMC. Except for this pink one right there. Um, there wasn't a DMC conversion, so I just picked one that was a um, Mad X Stitcher floss hand dyed that I had. <clears throat> and I guess I should tell you that too. The little chick isn't actually, he's missing some legs right now, but he's not actually supposed to be outlined. But I felt like the color blended a little bit too much between him and this lighter tan on the basket. <clears throat> so I went ahead and outlined him to help him show up a little bit. And then on my new start on January 18th, I got, I have to tilt it so you can even see, I got a little bit more of the really light color done. Yeah, that's it. And I still haven't looked for the original, so. Um, so that one will go away until I feel like working on it again. Because February 1st happened, and so I have another new start. I started this one. Deliver me from evil, but leave my chocolate alone. As I told you, I've eaten all the candy in the house. This one was particularly appropriate. It is from uh, For the Love of Cross Stitch. <clears throat> it only says on here to display until March 24th. I don't see... <clears throat> Volume 4, number 5, March 1992. It looks like this on the front. <clears throat> so, that's what I started. <clears throat> Here it is again. And I got the little cup that the milkshake's undone. That's where I am. I'm adding some of the fluff at the top the ice cream and stuff. That's where I am right there. I got that done. I will keep that one and work on it here and there until the 18th when I pull out another new start. Um, since it's February, I am doing the February freebie or freebie February. Um, they have a Facebook group and they have links to a ton of free patterns if you want to join in on that. <clears throat> and these aren't just ones like you see on Pinterest where somebody has uh, scanned in the page out of the magazine and they're calling it free. Do you see my mug? Wyatt gave this to me. Mom, I love how we don't even need to say it out loud that I'm your favorite child. I need to get one from my mom too. Anyway, this one is from crossstitching.com cross-stitching.com and it's this rooster and I love the way that that finished rooster looks I hate this effing rooster I'm going to tell you that right now oh my god this is um, where I'm at I added in last night this light pink here and here and here and here I hate this rooster because I am off somewhere. Who knows where I'm off. Um, he may look. I've decided that I'm not even going to try to keep figuring it out. I'm just going to go forward and I'm going to fudge it where I have to. And he may look like he's had a visit with Colonel Sanders by the time he's done, but I don't even care anymore. I just want him done. He is... Did I say? I don't even remember. I started him last year in the freebie February. Um, and I quit working on him because I hate him. Um, but I want him done because I like the way the finished one looks. So where do you go with that? How do you handle that? Anyway, he's also in my Euro Whips. So 
if I can get him done, that'll be even better. <clears throat> and then I started this because, you know, I'm trying to make, or maybe you don't know, I'm trying to make ornaments for my kids. So that when they leave the nest, they actually have something for a tree. And I was flipping through this magazine. It's the one that the chicken was in, which is the November, December of 88, Cross Stitch and Country Crafts. I was flipping through to see if there was anything else I wanted to make out of here. And I saw these little star-shaped things. <clears throat> I'm going to make this Santa. Sorry, I'm like tapping him in the nuts. I'm going to make this Santa, um, but I'm not using any of their colors because, well, maybe black for the belt. I don't know. Um, they're using like a shell pink and no. Mm -mm. No, I'm not going to do that. So I pulled out my own colors just out of um, floss that I had that's not, I don't even know what brand of floss it is. It's just all crammed in there. But <clears throat> here I am. Um, I know, I got a lot done. But I did that this morning. And I'm not going to finish it off like that. Um, years ago, my mom and I had this bright idea that with Christmas we were going to give everybody um, homemade fudge. And I bought all of these cute cookie cutters and all kinds of shapes, a bunch of them. And we did a test run and discovered that it makes a huge mess trying to get the fudge out of there. It's there wasn't really a practical way, so we just scrapped that idea and just made a pan of fudge. So, I have a whole bunch of star cookie cutters, and this is what I'm going um, to frame all of these in. I'll put something up here to hang it, um, but I'm going to use these cookie cutters to put these ornaments in. And I, it should, I'm doing it on 18 count. Ada, um, just some scrap fabric that I had, and they should leave me like an eighth of an inch all the way around, so it should be a really perfect, wonderful fit. Keywords being should be. <clears throat> we'll see what happens when I get to the end of the first one. That is all I stitched today. Um, when I was out here cleaning yesterday, I really should come out here and go through things more often because I find things that I've completely forgotten about. Um, but I came across several. I already don't know what I did with the other ones. This is pathetic. Um, punch needle kits. And I say several, like I have four or five of them. Um, like I just said, I don't even know what I already did with the other ones. Um, so I think I might give this a shot. Um, see how it goes. I actually have the punch needles and everything. <clears throat> I should stop buying things and setting it aside for ever and just work on it but so maybe it was divine intervention since everybody well lots of people have been talking about doing punch needle and trying punch needle and learning punch needle and then I discovered these kits that I already have so I'm pretty sure I meant to try punch needle it's got to be a sign right um, <clears throat> oh, and something else I found. I was so thrilled. I had started, um, I had an old cutter quilt. It was not a beautiful quilt by any means. It's a quilt that I cut Addison's stocking out of, but I had cut out a big chunk of the quilt, um, to make a cover for my Lazy Susan, just to lay on top of it that's on our dining table um, and I had put I was putting lace around the edge and I got more than halfway 
maybe not three quarters, but more than halfway of the way around, and I ran out of lace. And so I went and I bought a new roll, bolt, whatever, of lace and lost it. And I, and I mean, I've been looking for two years, close to two years, I don't know. And when I was out here, because I've been trying every day to clean a little bit. And I was out here and I looked in a bag that only holds, um, <clears throat> I have a Bernina sewing machine that Dax bought for me a couple of years ago. And he bought the embroidery attachments for it. And those are in a sewing machine bag, all of their own. And that's where the spool of thread was, the spool of lace. It is the only thing that was in that bag that isn't part of the embroidery. The, the embroidery threads aren't even in that bag. Mostly it's just the pieces that attach to the sewing machine. And that's pool of lace. No wonder I couldn't find it. So, anyway, yesterday I sewed that, the rest of that on there, and finished up. I have to, it's huge. Ta-da! It's a cover for my lazy Susan. Susan. So I put, now look, it's got a stain on it already from before. See where I just added the lace? Dax keeps giving me crap because the edge isn't finished, but I don't want the edge all finished off and pretty and smooth. I want it um, like shabby chic kind of. I don't know how chic it is, but I want it all shabby anyway. But I'm so excited. Like I said, it's the little things. Um, I love quilts and having this on the table. And yes, this fits perfectly on my Lazy Susan. Um, we have a really big Lazy Susan. We have a really big dining table. It's like a 63 by 63 inch square. So, I mean, it's over five feet square. You can't just reach across the table. You gotta, which is why we have a Lazy Susan, because you gotta stand up to get stuff. Um, but anyway, I am so thrilled, and now I've got to go clean all the crap off my table that people keep setting there so that I can put it on. And I don't care if this is kind of spring colors. I'm happy, and I'm putting it on now. Um, <clears throat> I guess I'll show you my crocheted sock. <clears throat> Um, hang my, oops, hang my hook from there. Um, uh, here's where I am. You may notice that it seems somewhat smaller than it was. Somewhere, I think every round, I've been adding in an extra stitch. So, where it should be, like, it's supposed to be 50 stitches around, um, I decided one day to count and see where I was, and I got to 50, and I had this much left before I got to the join. So, I tried to um, see if I could take in the stitches a few at a time and get it back, but then it went like from the cuff, and it went like this, and then back in. So, I decided that's probably, no, don't do that, don't leave it like that, so... I pulled them out. I'm going to count again to see where I am. Um, if I pulled out far enough. I tried to pull out until it looked like it was still going straight. I may still have too many stitches. I don't know. I think that's everything. Um, this week, I think I might add... For my freebie February, I might throw in the brouhaha. I think later in the week, when does it start? 
the Olympic Stitch Along starts um, from Stitch Mania on next Friday on the 9th. Um, I haven't decided. I haven't decided if I'm going to do that or not. We'll see. I may, you know how it goes, I may do days here and there, hit and miss, whatever. I don't know, but, um, I'm going to push forward on this stupid rooster. This is why people eat them. Roosters are, um, a lot of roosters are pain in the butt in real life. They can be very, very mean. We had one when I was a kid who was very, very mean. Um, if you turned your back on him, he would fly at you and try to spur you. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure we ate him. I'm just saying. Um, but I think I'm going to try to push forward maybe a little bit today. I don't think we have anything planned today. So, I don't know. Oh, I forgot what else I did this week that was life-changing. I know Sherry Burkett had talked about ordering groceries and getting them delivered to our house. I live out in the country. Um, to deliver to us, they have to drive about 30 miles. Um, yeah, people don't come to us for cheap. <clears throat> It's out of everyone's way for everything. So, I've never tried that. But this week, I did do um, the curbside pickup at the grocery store where I got online. And and I do live in a small town, America. It's brand new in the bigger town where our office is. Um, they don't offer it at the grocery store out here at all. But... Um, I did, I got online, I did my grocery order, they mark it up, it costs like $5 to do it, period, and then, um, they mark up your grocery bill by 3%, which at first I was like, oh my gosh, and then I was like, well, that's $3 on every $100 I spend, um, and I hate grocery shopping so much, and it's not buying the groceries that I hate, it's, um, people lose their minds when they get in the grocery store, um, and that's the part that I can't stand, so anyway, I got online on Thursday evening, placed my order, told them I would be there between 5 and 5.30 on Friday, uh, Pulled into the designated parking spot. You text them what parking spot number you're in. Um, they text you back and say, glad you're here. We'll be right out. And they bring your groceries to your car. Let's see. Um, I got a coupon for uh, the $4.95, so I didn't have to pay that. Um, so I spent probably four dollars for that convenience and to save me the hour and a half in the grocery store because of the lines and the people um that's the best four dollars I've spent in a long time I'm telling you oh my god it was wonderful it totally won't be with it for the small things that you forget but for the overall grocery shopping oh my gosh um, wow, just wow, I mean, yes, yes, um, and it saves me so much money because I am one of those, ooh, a new flavor of Oreos, gotta try those, oh, look at that new flavor of M&M's, gotta get those, um, ooh, what kind of flavor of chips are new, I'm one of those people, so this probably saved me 20 bucks, seriously, um, for the crap that I didn't buy. So that was absolutely wonderful. I loved it. Um, if you notice, I'm coughing less. Um, by the time Friday rolled around, 
this week, I was just beyond exhausted. Friday morning, I was getting dressed, and I'm standing in the bathroom, and I'm like, um, thinking to myself, because I'm so tired. You know, when I go in there to pick out my clothes to wear, I could lay down in the closet. We have a big closet. I could lay down in the closet for a few minutes and maybe I'd feel better. And then my brain kicked in and it's like, hey dumbass, if you want to go sleep in the closet, tell your friends you won't be at breakfast and go back to sleep. Oh, okay. So I did that. We slept in a little bit on Friday since we don't have office hours on Friday, even though we're always there. Um, but I came home Friday night. I fell asleep somewhere between 9 and 9.30. Um, I got up on Saturday morning around 5.30. And I was like, oh, I'm just not awake yet. I went and put on a pot of coffee. Um, I even made a cup of coffee and started to drink it. And I'm like, no. Nope. And I went back to bed and slept for a couple more hours. Um, I could have gone back to bed and slept all day probably, but I didn't want to do that. And I'm so glad I didn't since I got this done. But I feel so much better having slept. I needed that. That helped so much. And my family will tell me all the time, go to the doctor. You need to go to the doctor. And I tell them, no, I just need to sleep. I need for y'all to leave me alone and let me sleep. Um, so finally they did. Although I was so tired, it wouldn't have mattered if they were still talking to me because I was going to sleep, period. <coughs> so anyway, that it's been a good week, I have to say. Um, I actually feel accomplished a little bit. So that's always good, right? I got my payroll stuff done, uh, my quarterly reports, W-2s, all of that. So, yay, I'm excited. And then to get some other things accomplished that have been lingering for a couple of years is just beyond exciting. So there you go. I hope this next week is just as good. I hope y'all had a great week and that you have a wonderful week this coming week. Thank you again for the comments. I will be getting to them. It was a really busy week at work. And like I've said before, they don't always go through when I do it on my phone for whatever reason. Um, so I hope to get to the comments. Um, thank you. Welcome to my new subscribers. I'm thrilled to have you here. And... Um, Thank you for the likes, everyone. Thank you all for coming back each week, whether you comment, like, or not. Just thanks for coming around. I appreciate it. Um, I enjoy doing these videos because I feel like it kind of holds me accountable. It pushes me a little bit to get things done, and I like that. I hope everyone has a great week, like I said, and we will see you here next time. Thanks, y'all. Bye.